Thomas Alva Edison Thomas Edison, also known as Thomas Alva Edison He was a businessman and inventor He was born on February 11, 1847, in Milan, Ohio, United States His father's name was Samuel Ogden Edison, Jr., and mother's name was Nancy Matthews Elliott Thomas Edison was the youngest of the seven children of his parents His father was an exiled political activist And mother was a teacher He spent most of his childhood at Port Huron, Michigan He did not do well in school and ended up being homeschooled by his mother Interestingly, young Edison received his formal education for just about 12 weeks Since an early age, he had developed hearing difficulties, which increased with age, and by the middle years, he was almost deaf Thomas was an enterprising young man, selling vegetables, candy and newspapers on trains One day he saved a child from a runaway train the child's father repaid Aunt Edison by training him as a telegraph operator As a telegraph operator, Thomas became interested in communications, which would be the focus of many of his inventions He moved to New York, where he began his career as an inventor One of his earliest inventions was a stock ticker the Golden Stock Telegraph Company offered him $40,000 for the rights of that In 1869, he patented the electric vote recorder He then relocated to Newark, New Jersey, where he set up a small laboratory and employed machinist He expanded his operation and moved to Menlo Park, New Jersey he married twice in his lifetime His first marriage was to Mary Stillwell, in 1871, who bore him three children The one invention that brought him his first round of fame and catapulted his status to greater heights was the phonograph, invented in 1877 In 1877 he invented the carbon microphone used in telephones, radio broadcasting, and public address works He is credited with inventing the first commercially practical incandescent light In 1878, he formed the Edison Electric Light Company in New York City He then initiated an industrial research laboratory in West Orange, New Jersey which formed the base of the primary research laboratory for the Edison Lighting Companies At the turn of the century, he soon transformed himself from being an inventor to an industrialist and business manager Then he started developing a suitable storage battery that could power an electric car After the tragic death of his wife in 1884 he tied the knot for the second time two years to Mina Miller. The couple had three children He was made the head of the Naval Consulting Board during World War I A profound advocator of non-violence, he indulged in projects that basically designed defensive weapons, such as submarine detectors and gun location techniques his last patent was an apparatus for holding objects during the electroplating process He breathed his last on October 18, 1931, after suffering from complications of diabetes, at the age of 84 I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work, said Thomas Alva Edison